also a milestone year for the Minerva Education and Development Foundation, which was created by the Detroit Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. The nonprofit organization is celebrating 30 years of philanthropy at a gala on October 29th. More than $700,000 in scholarships and grants have been awarded by the foundation to students and nonprofits over the past three decades. Here's my conversation with the event chair, Janice Mitchell Ford. Janice Mitchell Ford, welcome back to American Black Journal. Thank you for having me again. I've, I've missed you. It's been some I years. I was going to say, I haven't seen you in a really long time on the show, but this is a great reason to yes. have you back. Um, yes. So let's talk about this 30th anniversary, three decades of awarding scholarships and grants by this foundation to students. This foundation is, of course, uh, related to the alumni chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. Yeah. Tell yes. our, our, our viewers uh, about all this work. The Minerva Education and Development Foundation, um, affectionately known as MEDF, mm -hmm. was organized in 1992 by women of the Detroit Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, and they came together to start a new tradition of philanthropy in the Black community. Black people are really good about passing on our traditions of love of church and love of music and love of art, but we're not so good about passing down our money. <laughs> it's so the this, the philanthropy part came in. And when we start doing our research, we, we determined that endowed funding is the best way to go because you can endow it and then your good works can continue after you're gone. And so 30, 31 years ago now, came together, um, won the Kresge and Community Foundation Endowment Challenge and um, raised over $100,000 in a matter of two years. And since that time, our endowment has grown to half a, mil half, um, half a million dollars. Mm. And we've given away over $800,000 in scholarships and grants to Detroit area based students, traditional and non-traditional. So two and four year colleges, as well as like licenses and certificates. Yeah. and to Detroit-based organizations. So um, your money does good in the city and it can continue to grow after you're gone. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, I think it really points up to uh, significant, uh, I guess, dynamics. Uh, uh, one, as you point out, is the power of uh, money when it's married with organization and strategy, and that's important. Uh, yes. But the other is the the, the role that uh, the Black Greek system continues to play uh, in in pulling our community forward and and pulling it forward together. Uh, yes. I, I think that's that's such a critical um, it's such a critical piece of of our community. I'm not sure everybody always quite understands that. Well, I would agree. You know. The things that get the, the airtime, right, or step shows and <laughs> things like that. Um, but the women of Delta Sigma Theta Detroit Alumni Chapter came together to not start a foundation for the Deltas, mm -hmm. but to start a foundation to help others. And MEDF, we specialize, if you will, um, in granting to organizations who have a operating budget of less than five hundred thousand dollars, sometimes even less than a hundred thousand dollars. And so we grant to organizations who would not get the attention of a Kresge or a Kellogg or a community foundation. So some of our examples are the Sphinx organization. When we met Aaron Dworkin, he was operating out of his basement mm -hmm. with an operating budget of maybe $50,000. Mm -hmm. And so we were one of his first funders. Um, and he's going to be at the event on October 29th where we celebrate 30 years and explain why it's important for groups like MEDF to give to upstarts because it will attract other grantors. The yeah. Detroit Phoenix Center is another example. Um, when we gave to them, I think Courtney Smith said her operating budget was $7,500. Wow. And we gave her money that allowed her to get her youth council together. And because her youth council was so strong, she recently got a grant of $5 million from HUD. So of course in MEDF, we only have one goal, to raise money and give it away. <laughs> and by doing that, we're impacting the city because we're giving to people who are actually doing the work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, talk about your history with Delta Sigma Theta sorority and uh, how much it meant to you to be to be part of something like that. 
Well, I have to say, you know, a lot of Black Greekdom, if you will, is tradition. Mm -hmm. And my aunt, Charlene Jones Mitchell, um, was a, she's been a member of Delta Sigma Theta for 50 something years at this point. Um, and so her and all her friends that I always called my aunts were my role models. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, you know, I became a member of Delta Sigma Theta, glad to be. Um, and then I continued in my aunt's footsteps. She was one of the organizers of the Minerva Education and Development Foundation. And so mm -hmm. she was the second president. I was the seventh president. And we're just continuing that tradition, beginning a new tradition of philanthropy in the black community. And, and it continues. I mean, the, 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 the great thing about uh, black Greek organizations is that there's this constant flow of new younger people into yes. the organization uh, and and they stay. I mean, the fact that you're still involved years after uh, well, not you that were many years, in college. not that many years. <laughs> not so many, right? Right, um, right, right. But but that's that's all part of it. I mean, it, yeah. it 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 all kind of regenerates itself over and over again. It does. It is regenerative, um, not only in membership, right, but also through the foundation for your money. Mm -hmm. So once you, we have a donor. Um, 96 year old Sarah Moore. She's going to make a special announcement at our 30th anniversary on October 29th at the Rooster Tail. Mm -hmm. She was a charter member of Delta Beta chapter at Eastern Michigan University. She's 96. Um, and she should, she's been a member for how many years now? But she's remember. continuing the work and she's about to endow a special scholarship. Um, so not only does our participation in community activities con continue through generations, you know, from grandmothers to daughters to, to granddaughters, but it also continues with our money um, so that it can continue to do the work long after we're physically gone. Yeah, yeah. So so 30 years or 31 years uh, of this are behind you. Uh, cast forward just a bit uh, to the next 10 years or the next 20 years. Yeah. Uh, how does this continue to grow and how does its influence continue to, to grow? Right. So um, MEDF is unique in that it is one of the only all volunteer organizations, Black women led, um, who focuses on endowments. And mm -hmm. that's how it continues to grow. So not only did MEDF start an endowment, but through our spreading of the gospel of philanthropy and endowments, we have had about 12 other people, African-Americans, start their own endowments mm -hmm. to continue their own family legacy. So that's how you continue the work, um, just to continue to spread the gospel of endowed giving, estate planning, um, and then individual giving as well. So MEDF becomes bigger the more giving that we do. Yeah. And the more giving that we do can only happen if we have donors who support. So we're very helpful and grateful for our donors who've been supportive over these 31 years. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't have to be a Delta to be a donor, correct? We do not. Most of our donors are not. So that, yeah. that again, Deltas help people. Um, and media up helps people. So even though this organization, you know, was birthed out of, if you will, uh, mm -hmm. the Delta chapter in Detroit, most of our donors, I'm all 99.9% .9 of our recipients have no connection to Delta Sigma Theta at mm -hmm. all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, Janice Mitchell Ford, uh, always great to talk with you. Congratulations on uh, 30 years of the Minerva Education and Development Foundation, and uh, thanks for being here on American Black Journal. Thank you, www.medf.net. Yeah, and we'll put that on, on our webpage as well. Wonderful.